Um, today we're going to learn how to do an easy watercolor orchid. So first of all, you want to um, do the outline and then we can start paint, okay? Uh, I do want you to prepare about three to four brushes just in case that you need clean brush or you need a uh, different brush for different colors or you want a, a clean brush to kind of add water to your painting. Okay, so first of all, uh, you want to make sure you have all your brushes and colors besides you. Here I have uh, yellow, red, green, and blue. And for this uh, pinkish color I got here, um, I do recommend you to have uh, to buy or borrow magenta pink. Um, and if you do not have magenta pink, you can mix the blue and the red. Um, so a lot of red, a little bit of blue, and then add at least 80% water to make this light pinkish, pink, peachy pink color, okay? Um, so first step, first, first of all, we want to again start with all the lighter colors. This is a rule of thumb for all watercolor painting that um, you do not want to start with a darker color because once you mess anything up, you, you do not, you don't fix watercolor. Like for acrylic paintings, you could cover them up, but for watercolor, if you did do it wrong, then I'm sorry, you have to do it all over again. Um, because watercolor is in general, in general, uh, less forgiving. So uh, let's start with the middle part. Um, I want to add a little bit of uh, green behind these, um, behind these petals, just right here. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to use a smaller brush. I'm using uh, brush number five, size number five. So I have my pink color and I want to add a little bit of yellow so it's not too, uh, too green. I want to add actually a lot of yellow, so it's almost like a uh, greenish yellow. And then I want to add more water. Um, so remember the stroke. If you have a lot of water over here and you have the pigment over here, you want the pigment to be at the place where you want the color to look darker. Um, here, I'm just going to lift it because I don't want it to be too green or yellowish. I'm just gonna lift the color because I don't want it to be too dark, okay? And then now I want to add yellow on this side. Again, rinse your brush as often as possible so the colors doesn't mess up with each other. Uh, I'm not going to touch this yellow because it already touched green, so I'm going to use yellow over here. And then um, I'm going to add some water to make it lighter. It's still too dark, so add more water. I'm going to add water until I feel the color is light enough. All right. So... Alright, so that's my yellow part of the, the flower. And um, so right now you couldn't tell the green behind it, so I'm just going to add a little bit more green. Again, rinse your brush. And then maybe a little bit of green. See, it kind of traveled, but it's, it's okay. I'm just gonna lift this part, make sure I don't touch the, the yellow. Still doesn't look greenish, so I'm gonna add a little bit more pigment. Now it's a little bit of greenish. Okay, perfect. 
And for the top part, I'm just gonna use yellow. A bright yellow. Um, now, we're gonna wait for it to dry. And while we're waiting, we can work on the other parts of the flower. So rinse, rinse your brush. Um, so I'm gonna use this peachy pink that I, that I mixed again. I recommend you to use magenta pink. If, if you don't have it as a compromise, you use blue and red and tons of water. Okay. So actually this one I'm gonna use the bigger brush. So rinse my brush. Use a bigger brush. This one I'm using size number 12 to uh, do like a like a overall cover for the for the flower. You wanna rinse your brush, make sure it's clean, and then load with the pigment you want. This one, just gonna do like this. Notice the color is super light. And it's fine because, as I said before, if you want to make your painting, you know, more vivid, like you want to make the color darker, you can always do that in a later stage. But if you make everything super, super dark and you want to fix it, it's going to be difficult. Okay. So... Look how light this pink is. Oh. Okay. Um, so when you do lift, there are actually two ways for you to do lift. You could lift with a paper towel, you could lift with a dry brush. So I'm gonna use my dry brush to lift the color a little bit. Okay. Now I think it looks good and I want more, um, I want some pink dots over here. So I'm just gonna do this. It's not very obvious, but just a tiny little bit of So I'm gonna, so see here, the reason why you have more pink show up here is that it's still wet here. And here you already dried up. So the way to fix this, to make it more, um, make the transition of color more gentle like this way, you just have to unfortunately lift everything and you have to redo this part again, basically. Remember, your brush has to be as consistent as possible. Okay. And then... So now we're just gonna wait. Now we're just gonna wait for this thing to dry up. Okay. Um, all right. So while we're waiting, we could actually do like a tiny outline over here because the petal is overall very, it's overall white. I'm gonna rinse my brush. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this to dry. Uh, meanwhile, we're waiting for the water petal to dry up. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is um, how to paint your leaves that is um, kind of more interesting instead of like looking plain and stagnant. So um, I'm just going to rinse my brush again. So I'm going to do a demonstration of leaves here while I wait for the petal to dry. So 
for example, if I want to paint a leaf and I add green to my brush, and if I do something like this, and then I do this, and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to fix the color, and I do like over and over and over again, you notice how the color looks very uneven, and um, yes, you have green color, overall it's, it's a nicely shaped um, leaf, but it looks boring, it looks not interesting. So how do you fix this? Okay, so the key is that remember watercolor is um, something that you want to do it right the first time. And uh, one of the key things for watercolor is that you want to load up a lot of water and you want to do it like one time. You don't want to go back to fix this. So let me show you the right way to do leaves. Again, raise your brush and uh, load your brush with green pigment. Um, and this one is actually, this one doesn't have enough water, so I'm going to add more water. Gonna add more water. Okay, so I'm gonna add more water. So you see, when I add more water, the color become lighter. So um, one of the practice you could do is you do something. You, this is a practice. Okay, this is not the leaves. This is a practice. So you do dark. You press it, and then you lift. You press. And then you lift, okay. And then you you can add more pigment. Again, press and lift, and press and lift. Look, this is more interesting because the water started to travel, right? And this one look more stagnant. I could add more pigment. I'm gonna make my yellow. I mean, I'm gonna make my green more yellowish. All right, so let's practice. Press, press your brush, and then lift it slowly. Don't lift like quickly, okay, lift it slowly. So press it slowly and let it travel on your paper and then lift up slowly. Now you see your leaf is, is more interesting because it created more variation. Okay, so I could do slow and then lift. Um, I could add a little bit of uh, blue to have a different color. And then you go press down and then slowly travel on your page and then you slowly lift it up. Okay. So, uh, and then you could try with other things, but remember, don't, don't fix it. Like, don't go back and like, like, don't do like, oh, I want it to be like even. So you just like kind of repetitively work on one leaf. That's like a big no-no, okay? Remember, you press it slowly and you lift it up. And if you want to add more pigment, you go back. And so, um, the, I think the key is to have add different amount of water and you can see the effect on your leaf. Okay, like this. This one is with a lot of water. Uh, this one is with a lot of water too. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, and then you just let it dry and after you dry up, it will look more interesting. Okay, so. Now my orchid is almost completely dried up. Um, so let me think. Um, I am going to, I'm gonna do the darker color first. And um, so I still see some part that hasn't dried up, but I'm just gonna use the lifting technique to kind of speed up the process. Okay, 
normally you don't want to do it with darker colors because once you lift the color is going to be attached to the paper towel but for this one because i want it to be light so i could use the paper towel to lift up the color now again get a clean brush uh, i'm gonna use size five size five um, and then make sure you rinse your brush before you work on the pigment okay i'm gonna use red uh, for this part, it's going to be super red, so I'm not going to add too much water. But I still want to have enough water to let it kind of flow. So... So this part in general is very reddish, so you need to add more pigment as you paint along the way. And, um, and if you want the middle part to look darker, you can add more pigment you want to but for me I'm just gonna let it do this um, and then and then I'm gonna use lifting All right so the lifting will We'll take out some of the pigment so I could kind of play around with it. I need to do this. Again, you don't have to do lifting if you just want it to be purely red. But for me, I want to kind of make it more interesting. So I did a lift. Um, and then now we do the, the right dots. to look darker so alright um, now I see this part and this part is all dried up then we could start with the, um, the this two petal this one this one so now look at what i have here um remember add a lot of water okay and um a little bit of blue okay, so it's kind of like peachy peachy pink you want to get your paper towel ready because we're going to do a lift here okay so i'm going to do this And we're gonna do it quickly. Otherwise, you're gonna mess up the process. Lift. Now, use a clean brush. Make sure it's clean. Uh, let me see if I have a clean brush. Oh, yeah, I do. And then you kind of soften the edge. Soften the edge by using a clean brush to play around with the side. And then again, you do lift. See the edge is softened up. Okay, and then do this size too. After you did it, you lift everything up. 
remember to use a clean brush. Soften the edge, soften the edge. After you see it softened up, if you need to, you do the lip. But if I see that uh, the softened edge looks good, I will just leave it as as it is. Okay, so you do have to play by play by the ear, which is play by observation. You look at the color and you fix as you go. Okay. Um, so this one, I want it to be darker. So what I do, I have just to do it again. More red and blue and then a lot of, a lot of water. Okay, so this is too purple-ish. So if it is too purple-ish, then we do have to add more red. Again, for um, these two sections, I want you to use magenta. If you have magenta pink, use magenta pink. If you don't have magenta pink, you just do what I'm doing now, which is adding a little bit of yellow to your pink and make it this. And, and remember to add a lot of water to make this peachy, uh, peachy um, pink. Okay, I'm gonna do this again because the color is not dark enough. Remember what I told you, lift everything and then use a clean brush to soften the edge. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna do this again. So, color, color the petal first. Let it stay a little bit, but mm, lift as quickly as you can. Leave it a little bit here. Use the clean brush to do softening the edge. Okay, so you do this till you're happy with this part. So pink, magenta, magen this is not magenta pink by the way. This is like a, a substitution that I'm doing. So this and this, let it stay on your paper a little bit. Now, do some lifting. Use a clean brush to soften the edge. Okay, so everything needs to be done quickly, otherwise it will mess up the process. Now I want to add some pink over here. So again, I'm using this this is, again, this is not magenta pink. If you have magenta pink, use magenta pink for these two, but you can use light red for this part, okay? Or you can use magenta pink, actually. Um, and so I'm gonna do this, this, this. Make sure you lift quickly. Otherwise, after it dried up, it's it's not gonna do as good. So, softening the edge. Remember, this is a clean brush. Soft the edge, soft the edge. And um, again, pink, pink. A little bit pink. Lift, lift, lift. Use clean brush to soft the edge. Everything you have to do everything quickly. Remember, otherwise, the pigment will stuck to the paper and you won't be able to fix that anymore. So I'm gonna use my clean brush to kind of doing a little bit of this to make it more interesting because it's a watercolor. So I technically. This is a little bit of um, too much, so I'm gonna lift up a little bit. Um, all right, so technically we are pretty much done except this part and this part. So again, use the pink brush. And uh, I'm just gonna do this, this, this. This will make, you wanna lift this because you don't want it to be too dark. Remember, do it really quickly, okay? After you've done this quickly, remember to use the paper towel to lift it. Otherwise, the color will be too dark. Do everything quickly, as quickly as you could, and then use the paper towel to, to lift up. To lift up. Um, by the way, I do want to mention that when you do the lift, 
when you do the lift something you don't want to do is for example if i did this and then when i lift i don't want to do this this is not lifting this is a smooshing or just like wiping okay you don't want to wipe your color this is a no-no when you do your lifting you want to just kind of like use the whole um surface of the paper towel to kind of like tap it so do the tapping as lifting not like wiping okay so now this is our uh, watercolor orchid and we could wait for it to dry up and um so i also want to i also want you to look at my leaves here so this one doesn't look as good but this one look good and i think this one doesn't have too much water i think these two have too much water so um again you want to kind of experiment with it and then see what works with you. So for these two it has too much water. This one looks beautiful because it doesn't have that much of water. Um, so I, I guess watercolor is just like, you need to play by experience. Sometimes things are turn out to be really good. You want to remember what I did right. And then sometimes um, you just have to learn from it from my mistakes and your mistakes, okay? Um, again, I hope you enjoyed painting this uh, watercolor orchid with me and uh, hope to see you next time.